Look up. Look way up. Those of you who are old enough to remember that show, welcome to the Old Guys Club. So, question came up from my video the other day about whether or not the material I was working on was or was not wrought iron. On the left hand side closest to the camera is a piece of the harrow. On the right hand side furthest from the camera is a piece of known mild steel. And I'm going to show you the test, the destructive test, for determining whether or not material is wrought iron or mild steel. And I will show you with this piece, unfortunately it's 5 8 square, that's all I had. Uh, of wrought iron. I'll show you what real wrought iron looks like when you break it. So what I've done is I've taken a saw and I've cut halfway through the material and I'm now going to break it off. And we're going to look at the break to see what the structure of the material looks like and determine whether or not we have wrought iron or mild steel. Good test to do on any steel you might find if you're hoping that it's wrought iron. Um, yeah, this will determine it for you. This one will be easy. I've got a lot of handle here to work with. So this is a piece of the harrow. So you can see it's got a grain like sand uh, structure of the material. When it breaks, it looks like sand. Known mild steel. Again, a little bit more elongation in that material held together a little bit better than the old stuff. But remember, this harrow is probably over 100 years old. So steel industries changed a little bit since then. And the purity of the steel has probably changed a ton since then. I think most of today's mild steel is made from a lot of recycled material. So again, the grain structure on the brake looks like very, very fine sand. And here's the wrought iron. See that? It looks like wood. It's much more malleable and it's layered. Its construction is layers and those layers want to separate. When it comes to forging wrought iron, you're going to see that if you work it at too cold a temperature, it does just this. It tries to separate and it cracks. So I hope that helps. Rod iron. Uh, the other thing you'll notice about rod iron, I'll grab another piece. There's a nice big chunk of rod iron. When it weathers, like this has, you can see lines. The grain structure is in parallel lines and it'll often rot away, leaving really obvious striations. That's another indication that you're dealing with wrought iron and not mild steel. Anyways, that's all for today guys. Hopefully that helps clear that up and uh, helps you on your quest to find some wrought iron for a special project. Save it for just that though. Uh, Rod iron is no longer produced. I think there may be a company that uh, recycles rod iron and creates bar stock from it, but for the most part, rod iron is no longer available uh, except for salvage material. 
So if you're going to repurpose a piece of wrought iron, think hard about what it is you're going to make out of it, and it should have some meaning, I think. Um, I made a coat rack for my neighbor who gave me some wrought iron from her um, original homestead building that she unfortunately had to tear down, log home. It had a tie bar in it that held it together, and uh, I used the pieces of that tie bar to create hooks for a coat rack. And um, I made nails and made her a coat rack for her house that incorporated some of that wrought iron material and the barn board so that she had a piece of it still, even after tearing it down, that she could speak to. And uh, that seemed like a special project to me, so it was a worthwhile cause for that wrought iron. All right. Take care, guys. Like and subscribe, and we'll talk again soon.